Hi guys, it's the 1st of December 2025, which means I've built Cairo. If you don't know what Cairo is, then maybe we should move to this browser. And on the arclinks.info website, there is the farewell message to Arclinux. And Cairo is just the OS from Eric, right? For Eric, from Eric. My choices, my software based on Arch and made some several choices and do want to have a tiny window manager to work on. So that's basically, um, well, you can read more and more in our videos about Cairo. But um, basically the message is it's the first of the month. There is a new ISO out and there are a few repos, only seven repos that are required to build Cairo. And um, you can find Cairo files on SourceForge. So it's uploading. It's still, I think, going to be processed. Now it's processed, you see, now it's blue. So now you can download it, but you need to wait a little bit for uh, this file to go from, I think was North America somewhere. And that's going to be propagated to all the servers of SourceForge in the coming hours. What did I change, right? It's always a good thing to see what's going on with the project and for me as well to make a um, look around. I did change some things in Cairo Calamars, some images I'd like to change and uh, let's have a look together. So giddy up, git find, both of these guys um, are interesting to have a look at the code and have, let's move to you over here. So you see, uh, changes i looked at the file here and it says linux distribution we can't call it linux distribution it's just an os for one particular guy eric right so i've just omitted this particular thing what we've done as well is uh, made sure that we can't select small or suspend here there's only one option of two options sorry none and a file so we can make a small swap partition or a big swap partition there was an error somewhere in the line i looked around and tried again and again and again and i said okay let's just omit it from the installation of calamar since i'm always using none with 32 gigabytes of ram and maybe next computer 64 you don't need swap right and if you do need it why not use a file because a file you can always change you can make it on the fly bigger or smaller and that's up to you all right so that's something i've changed and uh, let's see 26 11 those are versions the versions of calamaris package version update yeah we changed something in the unpack file system from calamaris um we've we had to remove the code for AMD U code and Intel U code since everything is arranged a little bit different now and the weight so how much does it count for um, a particular module so it's gonna um, influence the slider that you see how long is the slider how fast is the progress that's the slider thingy yeah, there's a new parameter which does not influence us as the text. Well, we have our own code, uh, Python code. So it's a parameter that has been added by Calamaris guys. So like I said, the unpack thing here, the AMD Intel has been changed. And then we are in October, right? So that's previously. So those things were done in November. That's that. I killed my text here. Let's go back to Cairo. So that's the thing we've changed, the Cairo ISO itself. Let's see what we did there. Besides always change the reference. So each time I boot my computer, I tend to update the reference on GitHub. So that's uh, the changes you see here, which are not changes at all, but this one is, right? VLC is my um, audio, mostly video player and at some point in time arch decided to say let's get out of let's put the plugins apart which meant at some point in time i couldn't play videos right so now i have taken them all it's a bunch of things i think like 30 packages or so i just want them all 
I just want this to work, I put up whatever video I have, I need it to work or audio, right? So I've ch that's the choice. Uh, many people won't like the choice. Remove and install you need just like the, the MPEG maybe or something like that that you want to have for sure. So all of these guys I think are just um, no changes here. Of course, uh, the Arch Linux servers need to be updated from time to time. Right, this is again an Arch Linux server. We are 21 November. We're scrolling through the code. Since I do it at least once every day, we get a change in the reference here in the date. Halfway the month. We'll see, I did it recently. beginning of the 11th already I was playing around with settings that's true with the and uh, the way the profile def is well is made is this build up and this is me trying to see what should I take uh, what's best I think there were issues in back in those days with the squash FS tools package Hence, it led me to look where, why, what is causing it, right? And that's the search to figure out we needed to downgrade Squash FS tools. A few days later, there was an update of it and voila, everything was working again. Then you set everything back. You see what you have changed and set everything back. Microcode has been added to the hooks here. And this is coming from Arch uh, ISO, right? The package. They've had added some things for ARM, RISC, and Loom Arch 64. I mean, I'm not using that at all, but it's now also included here. Uh, just, a, just a comparison. And since I had issue with uh, Squash FS tools, I went uh, to look what are the differences between the Arch ISO Relang folder and mine, right? Some spaces, got rid of some spaces there. So smaller stuff. But shit will happen, right? Things will happen, updates will, well, uh, it will cause you to fail an ISO build if you are, you've based your own distro on Cairo and in uh, Buildra or on ALCI or on Carly, things will break and you need to figure out why is it breaking, right? And then we're in October. Though that's that, Cairo Nemesis is not important. Cairo Baggage Build, probably important for those guys who are actually um, building ISOs, right? So Calamar has got updates. I have some uncommitted changes I see here. Let's put it online for you guys to have a look at. So from time to time, we need a new build for Calamaris. Voila, that's online, so you can see everything. So new Calamaris, new code here. Um, some reference again we're on July already so it seems I've been neglecting to update this, this particular github since it was July 20th right and now everything is here um, for the rest it's um, I don't think I did anything except maybe this one which is Cairo Nemesis after installing after installing Cairo I'll run that one I run the zero, right? And then it runs everything else. And I've just changed this was this one this morning, saying, well, another um, sequence, basically. This one before something else. And here's the text for the Intel U code. I've added Intel U code. So it's not looking for AMD. Why? I don't have AMD, right? So there's no um, logic to look, hey, what do you have? And let's install what you need. No, I just need Intel. So if you need AMD, go change this thing. Now for the rest, no well, Intel U code there, current choices, got push, etc. That's already in November. So there you go. Those were the changes, I, I think. Um, Kyo repo is just packages and package build. Yes, we've explained everything. And I'm testing always with this one. So this is a test. If it works, if Calamaris works on this one, it gets moved here. Well, we rebuilt actually here. 
same thing here next and next so basically that's what i need to build one iso that's all i need and yes true i have a nemesis repo which contains a lot of stuff that's where i'm getting other stuff and this one i see can go so we have a file super f7 well maybe right this is the technical thing next video is let's install it let's uh, split it in two bits and then um, we'll go ahead and use the system basically <laughs> cheers <laughs>